another interesting story in the world of animals. Um, it seems a little ridiculous to me, but apparently this is a thing. Yeah, but it, in the UK, it's a first. But here in the States, it's happened. I've, this guy is he blind, has a right? Seeing eye horse. Yes. Now, see, wow. I saw the headline and I assumed, wow, that's awkward. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, the thing is pretty big. Yeah. But it's a little mini horse? Yes, it's a oh. miniature horse. A blind man in the United Kingdom who's afraid of dogs will be getting an American miniature horse to assist him. The 23-year-old man said, I have a condition where I lost my vision and I've come across lots of people who have guide dogs, but I have a big phobia of dogs that I was not able to work out, and it was good when I heard about horses being trained. Can you no. just give him a dog and tell him it's a miniature are, are horse? I was going to say, <laughs> are they just going to tell him it's a miniature horse? But my my okay. golden's about as big as a miniature horse. Well, you get him a great game. Yeah. Here's a, yeah. you know, this, this, I'm looking at this thing. First of all, look, he has big rubber shoes on. The, the horse does. <laughs> See those? Of course he does. Oh, slickers? He's going to be in the house. He can't mark up the hard Yeah, you don't floor. want him horseshoe marks. He's a cute little guy, but he, and he's, he's not that little. The horse named Digby still requires training, and it'll be a couple of years before the animal joins him in Blackburn, England. Trainer Katie Smith said one of the benefits of guide horses is their long lifespan. She said we are working with the environmental agency to get them to understand that Digby is toilet trained. <laughs> wow. So it can... Go outside. Right. Not use a bathroom. Not use no, it's not toilet. a litter box drain. That'd right, or a, to a toilet. Yeah. It says toilet. No, Josh, it, it goes in, it excuses itself. Then it <laughs> likes to run water because it gets embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have those special levers so he can yeah, it's work them with his hoofs. Sweet right. Look, look, looking little guy. Yeah, oh. they're very cute. But, uh, wow, that is. I wild. have a friend who shows miniature horses. She's got yeah, world champions. Of course champions. you do. So they have a long lifespan, so there's a chance this horse will outlive this guy. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this, but horses' hearts break like a human's. A How true do you word. know that? <laughs> I've heard that. But it crumbles like a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were fishing for? Openly. Sick. I was trying to make Stop. chick laugh with some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will openly weep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. And kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they moan. Yeah. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it's haunting. It, wouldn't it be easier to just help this guy get over his fear of dogs? He said he couldn't work it out. He tried. Huh. I can't understand of being afraid of dogs, especially my stupid, well, maybe, stupid well, maybe, was maybe a dog bit his eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the ending music for the show? We have, could I get my car pulled up? <laughs> We're forgetting. done here. Oh, this time was we had to have a nice radio show here. <laughs> <laughs> have a conversation about events of the day. Yeah. Time was you stayed away from a dog. <laughs> right. Suck the eyes right out of your skull, they would. <laughs> Until they had the, the Dog Taming Act of 1958. <laughs> That's right. We had to teach our dogs not to go straight for our eyes. <laughs> That's right. You can't find a picture of a guy and a dog before 58. <laughs>